Uh, so this video about the uh, Charlottesville uh, car attack uh, has been going viral and it, 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 it's, it basically is attacking uh, one of the live streamers or making ma making innuendo or conspiracy theories about the uh, live streamer. Um, but I, I wanted to talk about it because it, it actually brings up uh, some new information that kind of shed some light on the actual attack. Uh, if we look at uh, these, this screenshot, he, he does uh, identify that the car uh, was on uh, Water Street uh, 7 minutes and 40 seconds before the car attack. That's very important. If we check out uh, the spot identified on the live stream on Google Earth, uh, we find out that it's this uh, parking, uh, parking area, parking lot on, um, what's it called? Uh, Water Street. You know, we can see here. Uh, this is the uh, par the parking spot, uh, the parking sign that uh, is identified on live stream. Uh, we see uh, the little uh, tuft of uh, green green grass, uh, and we can see the the building uh, to the left uh, that is also visible on the live stream. So this is the uh, spot. All right, so if we zoom out. Uh, you can see that this uh, spot is southeast, no, southwest of the scene of the accident, which is over here on uh, 4th Street. Uh, let's zoom in just to, just to clarify. Uh, this is the uh, scene of the uh, accident, not, well, not accident, uh, uh, intentional uh, hit, whatever. Uh, uh, we can see here this is. Uh, this is the area where the car hits uh, protesters. Okay, so here's what I think is interesting about this new information. Uh, 4th Street, where the accident occurs, is a one-way street. Uh, so the only way for uh, the car to get on uh, 4th Street is uh, from Market Street. Uh, so the question is, how, how does a car get from here to here? Um, if we go down Water Street, there's no way to get onto East Market Street uh, if you're going east. In order for the car to uh, get to the accident scene, it would have to go uh, west uh, on Water Street, north on uh, 2nd Street, uh, east on Market Street, and then turn south onto uh, 4th Street. Uh, now, because on the video he is uh, turning east, it, it means that at some point here he would have had to uh, perform a U-turn. Okay, so uh, why, why is this important? Uh, because uh, one of the excuses that was being made in certain areas of the internet is that uh, the guy was just trying to leave the, the area of the, the, the protest. Uh, this to me indicates that that is not true. If he he was free to get on, keep going down Water Street, or go south on 4th Street and to leave the area. He, he was scot-free at that point. He could have simply walked away or driven away. Uh, so I think this new information added, uh, this is the area where the protest occurred, uh, performed the U-turn, drove towards the area where the protests were taking place, and then specifically turned down uh, 4th Street, which is one-way street, which by the way, um, in, in the live stream it shows that it, it's possible that he saw the protesters. He, he saw them when he was going down uh, Water Street, then turned around and, and headed their way uh, from... Uh, from Market, uh, from Market Street, uh, from the other side. So this uh, this uh, route that uh, the Dodge uh, Challenger took is consistent, in my mind, with uh, premeditation. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, the conspiracy theories claiming that this, or the theories claiming that this was an act of self-defense, don't are inconsistent with the route he took. If he was trying to leave, he would have just kept going this way or kept going this way or whatever. He had, he had plenty of ways to leave the area. Uh, this, to me, looks like intentional. 